wanna thank you for 4,000 subscribers. I just wanna thank you from the very bottom of my right chamber of my heart where blood is pumping. But without further talking, let's just go ahead and get cracking like a seed. Starting off with our first hairstyle, I'm just going to take a little piece of hair and divide this into three different sections. Now all I'm doing is a fringe braid, but I'm only adding pieces of hair that is closest to my face. I think this frames your face very well and I just like the way it looks. Now you can do this as far up or as far down as you want. I just did this to a little bit above my ear. Now you can just leave the remainder of your hair down, but I decided to braid it because I think this adds a lot of texture to the look and I'm just in love with it. But you are going to want to take a clear elastic band and tie off the remainder of your hair. Also, you may see that you have a little piece falling down, but you can easily fix this by bobby pin it back. And I just think this hairstyle is overall so good if you have straightened your hair that day and you want to add a little something to it. And I just love this so much. To our next hairstyle, I'm going to start off by taking a piece of my hair and dividing it into three sections once again. Now for this hairstyle, I'm going to be doing a straight up fringe braid and if you don't know how to do this, it is just the same as a regular braid but every time you braid a piece of hair, you're going to add an additional piece of hair from the rest of your head to it and after you do that all the way to the back of your head, I'm just going to put this into a ponytail and now I'm just going to loosen the look up and frame my face a little bit and I think this look is so cute and casual and perfect for pretty much any occasion. So for our last hairstyle, we are going to be doing a double dutch French braid and all you get to do for this is instead of going over like you usually do on a regular braid, you're going to add in a new piece of hair and go under the braid. So add in a new piece of hair and then go under and you're just going to repeat this all the way down your head until you get around a little bit above your ear. This is a really pretty effect and it makes it look like it is popping out over your head. Now you're going to want to have to do a braid all the way down your head and that is just to finish the look off. You probably don't want to see me do the other side so I'm just going to skip that part but I'm just going to bobby pin back any of my little stray strands and I'm also going to loosen this up because it really does make a difference. Once again you're going to want to frame your face and then waffle out the remainder of your hair and that is literally it. I love how this turned out and it is so daggone perfect for the springtime. for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like more hairstyle videos and i'll see you guys in the next time why did the chicken cross the road